Hey guys, I'm Miss Crystal, and today I'm gonna be answering your questions about what's in my wardrobe. Now, we're gonna kinda kick this off with kind of an easy one, which was what's one of my favorite black outfits to wear, which I'm gonna just start with, because I'm wearing it. And it's this guy right here. So this top, um, I think my stylist got this from Forever 21. My favorite part, really, though, is the skirt, for sure. And more so because I really, really like this zipper. And I just think anything with women's dresses and skirts that have these like long, beautiful zippers down the back are just absolutely my favorite. So that's definitely why this outfit for me is one of my favorites. All right, so moving on, let's do... There was a question having to do with my selection when it comes to polka dots or stripes. Now, I have to be honest, I don't think I have anything that has polka dots on it, or at least I didn't find it when I was browsing the, the closet to see you know, what I could find, but I did find this number. So some of you may remember this guy, and this is Inevitable, or from Inevitable music video, and it's such a comfortable dress. I'll definitely say it's one of the most comfortable dresses that I've worn in a music video. And I wouldn't normally wear stripes, but for whatever reason, it worked, and then it came out really beautiful in the actual music video. And the only reason that I haven't worn this again is just because it's so short. <laughs> and not that I have a problem with short. Short's beautiful, baby. Uh, especially with some heels, but, uh, well, but being the key word here, definitely tends to kind of peek out, so definitely uh, not something that works so much for like a casual night out or something, but very, very cute nonetheless. Now, let's talk a little bit about some professional attire. I saw plenty of questions because you guys know that my boring day job is that I'm an entertainment attorney, and so there were questions about being an attorney and what do I wear to court? What do I need as far as, you know, feeling like my best self and getting it done? And there are kind of two go-to outfits that I have. Uh, the first is, you know, the pantsuit action. And in fact, for my last trial, this was what I wore. So I had a black, undershirt which is some you know kind of action on it but it was pretty muted and then just you know i think these are express pants and so you know just a simple pair of pants and a jacket and so you know obviously this is a little bit more of like a strong masculine kind of look and so this is very mood based so then when i want to wear something a little more feminine this is what i go to so starting with the skirt um, and the top as well, both of these pieces were actually what I wore for my TEDx talk. And my stylist found this and I just love this little slit. Oops, excuse the hair. Just love this little slit right here. And this shirt. Now here's, you know, where I just kind of need someone to help me from time to time, you know, I would look like this and or add it and I would probably just pass over it initially. And so it takes someone to kind of, you know, show me how you can put these two together to make it make sense. So obviously this guy is see-through. So although that would be very fun to just put it on as is, I do need an undershirt thing. So hold please. All right, so what I'm talking about is, you know, this particular look requires a certain tucking, which I quite frankly haven't done since I was like 12, but it works so very well. And like I said, you definitely need the uh, top underneath, but the reason I really like this slit is that you have that nice little peekaboo moment for a little necklace. And this definitely works if you want to do, you know, a jacket over it, just kind of take it up a notch. I don't feel the need to, and I certainly didn't for my TEDx. And there we are. Now, the next question had to do with the cheapest item that I have in my wardrobe. And funny enough, this would be one. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty because I do so much kind of second uh, hand store shopping. But this one right here was actually the dress that I wore in my Save Yourself music video. And this was well under $10. And we got this from um, not just kind of a secondhand store, but it's a vintage secondhand store. So just, we found so many beautiful pieces, not just for Save Yourself, but for other music videos. And I just love super, super conservative kind of dresses like this. And it's, it's kind of started to translate into my normal day-to-day -day wear. So I love this and I love how it kind of came out as far as the general vibe in the Save Yourself music video. 
So moving on to this little number, uh, I wanted to mention this because it was kind of an oddball decision that we made that worked so well. I love this jacket, but I had like no idea what to wear it with, how it would work. It's totally not gonna work with this outfit, but I'm putting it on. And so I brought it to our Trick is to Keep Breathing music video shoot and I put it on and, there, and, and you know, for what I was wearing, I was like, no, it's not gonna work. So I ended up throwing it on when we were sitting on one of the chairs and kind of this impromptu shot that we had for the music video and it just ended up being not just a pinnacle iconic moment in that music video, but it made the actual cover for the single. So worked out well. Now I got a little interesting question that I wanted to make sure to answer, which had to do with actually that Orco. So that Orco, if you guys don't know, he's my co-writer and my music producer. And someone had asked, is there something that I like that he wears? And so I pulled that item for today, which is this guy. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to over, uh, oversized or super long t-shirts and hoodies, that kind of thing, I think that's super sexy on guys. I like it. And this one in particular works really, really well for him. And I think he's worn this in one or two of our music videos, so it worked out really well. The trick is to keep breathing as well. So moving on, another kind of go-to dress for me, and this was a question, you know, as far as what's a daily kind of quick dress that you want to go to. And I'll at least pre-roll that by saying, um, when it comes to dresses versus pants, I'm absolutely more so of a dress person, but it's kind of a weird thing. It's not because I particularly like being extra feminine or anything like that. I think it's just more out of laziness. I just like the idea of being able to kind of put one thing on, not having to worry about matching and, and all of that. And in fact, I think I own a total of two pairs of jeans. I've had kind of this moral apprehension to jeans my entire life. And I just, you know, whole side story into my psychology. But in any case, so when it comes to just kind of a quick dress that I love to throw on, I can't tell you guys how many times I've worn this dress. And, you know, I can even, for like the Audible book, for just recording. In fact, I'm gonna go throw this on. I'll be right back. And here it is. I just like to twirl. I just like to twirl. I've worn this on road trips. It's just because it's so comfortable. It's comfortable. I look like I tried that day. I probably didn't. It's fabulous. All right, so moving on. Y'all had a question about Focused All Night music video, which I thought of all videos, that was interesting. But the question had to do with, do I still have the outfit from Focused All Night? And the answer is yes. So I'm gonna double up with this other item that we're gonna be talking about in a minute, but here we go. Here are the shorts that I wore for like 20 hours straight. Don't talk to me about that. And then the, um, the top, I actually got two of these because at some point through the shoot, things got so gross because I was dancing in the water and there's dirt and there's blood everywhere. It's just a really great time. And so, at some point, I just had to change the shirt, so I had a backup, but here's one of them. And I'm gonna double it up with this guy, and be right back. And here we go. So, before we get into the music video outfit, I gotta mention this jacket because it was a question you guys asked. And it was, do I have anything leather in my wardrobe? And the answer is no. Now, this jacket is from a company that is cruelty free and the company is called Noise. And Noise sent me this jacket. Uh, I think it's like $160, but it's 100%, uh, uh, how do you say it? Faux leather? <laughs> Fake leather. Um, and it's so beautiful. I haven't worn anything like this just because it doesn't fit with kind of where I'm at in my life today. I've been vegan for seven years. Um, but nonetheless, you know, there's a certain style with like musicians and, you know, you love the rock girls and the rock boys and that kind of thing. But I just, I didn't feel comfortable wearing anything that wasn't 100% cruelty free uh, because of all of that. But I gotta tell you, this thing is beautiful. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. So, thanks, Noise. All right, and back to the outfit for Focused All Night. 
first of all, to properly bring this all together, I need a knife. Can you grab me my knife from my nightstand? Yes, I have a knife in my nightstand. Buyer beware. <laughs> Thanks. Careful. So, today we are talking about the focused all night bit. And the we have to have the knife because in focused all night, I had the knife. Now, it's at the end of the video because what was my killing mech? What did I do? Did I have the guns? Yeah. So anyway, I'm using the knife a whole lot. And at the very end, you get the epic shot with me and this whole thing. So it just brings it all together. And besides the knife, I did have a gun and I had the holster and it was all just fabulous. So when in doubt, just get a knife and it pulls the whole thing together. Thank you. Now, moving on to something a little saucier. I got plenty of questions about my saucy wardrobe, lingerie, that kind of thing. So why don't we talk about it? First and foremost, I can at least say one of my favorite 90s that I have is this little green guy right here. And it's very simple. I like that it has kind of the pixie bottom. It's flowy. It's very, uh, it's really great for pretty much any body type. And my personal favorite is that, you know, if you're wearing a bra, it just gives you somewhere to go if you get my drift. Now, the other lingerie items actually appeared in my music video, I uh, swear. And two of the tops that we wore in the actual video I got from Fascinations. And we'll start with this guy right here. So this bra top right here went with this top. In fact, let me flip this around. So it is a sheer, all over, so to speak. And so we had that with a pair of little booty shorts, which are just, you know, kind of see-through on the side. So this one was very simple, but you know, this is also reflective of just a time in my life that I felt sexy and confident and I had the opportunity to be able to capture that in the actual music video, which was pretty cool. So in that video, we also had this guy. So again, fascinations and the color is just beautiful. So definitely one of my all time favorite tops. And you know, I happened to have a nice tan at the time and all that. So it came together really well. And for one of the questions that you guys were asking, what outfit of mine is that Orko's favorite? The swear outfit, the first one that I showed you with the, uh, the white top definitely is. And uh, he's gotten plenty of use out of that. Now, as sad as I am to move on, because this really is like one of my favorite outfits just to wear, it's so comfortable. It's a lot cooler when you have the blood and like the dirt and all the extra stuff. Uh, where's my special effects makeup artist? But anyway, we're gonna move on to this guy. Funny enough, someone specifically asked to see this, have me talk about it and wear it in the video. So I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna talk about it for a second. Now, you know, I just gotta do a little tour first. What's good of having a train if you can't twirl, baby? Mm. Now, this dress uh, originated from actually my baby sister, of all people. So she, you know, we just exchanged clothes um, over the years. And so she gave me this dress and I've worn it a total of two times. And the first was actually a part of a photo shoot that we did for Inevitable. And so it was just for like press photos and um, the EP and that kind of thing. And then I wore it again for Boyfriend, which was a cover song that I did originally by Ariana Grande. And it just made sense because it's such a girly kind of flowy. And I do a ton of this in the music video. So for you special person out there that asked for this, here you go. Now to bring it down, just a couple of notes, because of course the question is when I'm just being more casual, we're in the studio, we're recording, what am I gonna wear? Probably not this. So I'm gonna show you what I got and I will be right back. So this is gonna be very much my everyday casual at home and recording. And one of my favorite parts about this is, of course, the hoodie. 
And I've worn this. Uh, I originally got this outfit because again, my stylist always coming to the rescue and I wanted something that was a little more casual. And so she had not just this one, but in different colors, right? So we had like bright yellow and this made an appearance in my Dukes Up uh, piano version. And ever since then, I've just used it because it's so comfortable and I feel so good in it. And I just, even doing this video, I'm kind of realizing how much the wardrobe that I choose or, uh, you know, my collaborators work with me on end up influencing my actual life. And it's just because I've just never been someone who likes to shop. I get anxiety when I go into stores, when I have to change. I just, it's something so far removed from kind of who I am and kind of how I was raised. So I think that by putting in the efforts, which is my music and my videos, that's where I actually get my clothes. And so like I said, it just influences everything else in my life. All right, you guys, I think I got through most of your questions. I hope you had fun with this. I certainly did. And I kind of learned a little bit about myself. <laughs> So we probably will do this again. This is a very, very small amount of kind of like everything. So it's just really three different closets of just daily wear, professional wear, props, stuff for music videos. Um, so maybe we should do more of like the prop kind of thing from the videos because those are just a lot of fun. So in any case, thank you very much for joining me on this video and I will see you guys on the next one. I miss Crystal, bye.